Hi everyone, it's Carl here. And just like many of you, I'm starting a journey from the very beginning to the very end, doing the door supervisor course and getting my SIA license. Now, yes, I do work for Get a License. However, I'm gonna act like I'm at a, at a junction in my career. I wanna get an SIA license, so this will be the genuine experience of my journey and I will hopefully get my license at the end. A little bit about me, I've never done anything like this before. I've always been in marketing, but I do genuinely think that if you're after flexible hours, want to work on the front line, and have a really sociable job, then this is the perfect opportunity for you. With Get Licensed, we have a massive reputation of being really trustworthy. We've got over 10,000 Trustpilot reviews and all of the e-learning and mock exams available online. I'm sure I'll be fine, I hope. So here I am just booking my course. I've chosen one very close to my flat in central London and the process has been super easy. There's lots of customer support and even online chat that you can ask any question and they get back to you straight away. I've gone for the premium course mainly because I get unlimited resets of the exam, which hopefully I don't need, but at least I know if I do fail, it won't cost me anything else to reset the exam. With this, I also get an ebook, which should help with my chances of passing. I also get first aid training, as this will become mandatory for anyone wanting to work in the security sector. Now, you don't need to go premium. There are Flexi Plus and Saver options available. With Flexi Plus, you do still get unlimited resets. However, if you're very confident, you can go for the Saver. If you think you can pass first time, I would just rather be safe than sorry. It's also really nice to get a confirmation text straight away. I was also emailed with all of the course info and access to e-learning, so amazing. The exam is actually the same for both door supervision and CCTV. Um, so if you do a door supervision course, you can actually in fact be exempt. So my course is just a few days away now, so I've been going through all of the e-learning that's been sent to me, and I've even done a few mock exams, which I have passed, so I'm feeling really confident. There's also lots of materials on the Get Licensed YouTube channel. The only thing now is to wait until Monday for me to start the course. I'm excited. So it's the night before I do my course. I've done all of the e-learning. I've also made sure I've got all the documents ready. Um, I went to get some passport photos done the other day. I've scattered out the location because God, it's a really early start in the morning. I need to be in, I can't remember where it is actually, somewhere in central London for eight o'clock in the morning. I've got to make sure I get the 15 minutes before the course starts because if I am late, they will turn me away, even though I do work for Get Licensed. So for anyone else doing this in the future, Make sure you get there early because you will be turned away and you may have to rebook it and it could end up costing you. So, wish me good luck and I'll speak to you guys in the morning. Good night. So, it's the first day of the course. I'm absolutely knackered. I've double checked, I've got everything. Uh, the reason why I'm whispering is my flatmate is still asleep next door. Excited to get there and give us a good go. Okay, so it's the morning of the first day. I'm absolutely shattered. As you can see, it's still pitch black outside. I'm the only one. <laughs> I'm pretty much the only person awake in London. But I've double checked, I've got everything. Let's go do this. So I've just arrived outside of the center. I start to feel pretty nervous now. I'm gonna be doing a lot of filming throughout the course, but I'm gonna try and pay as much attention as possible because I do really want to pass. So yeah, wish me luck and I'll see you guys soon. outside for a little break. Morning's going really well so far. We've gone through basically what we'll be covering in the course, a few little introduction exercises. Everyone seems really friendly, really good. This afternoon, we're just gonna run through a bit more about the course and start getting down to the nitty gritty. So yes, so far so good. I'll speak to you soon. Hey, Educational Institutes, still up the ball. You will have to ask people to leave as a result of the behaviour. And only if it's a last resort are you going to use Hi guys, so I've just finished day one. Really enjoyed the first day. I feel like we've covered loads, learned so much. Big shout out to our course instructor, Dave. He's got loads of really cool stories and constantly had the whole class in stitches. So we started with loads of icebreakers, 
all about the course. We covered civil and criminal law, licensing, even about arrests. And we also did people profiling. So basically how to describe what people look like. Quite offended because somebody thought I was about 35 years old when I'm only 24. Yeah, really enjoyed it. It's been a long day. It's been hard, so I'm excited to get back. Definitely gonna have a nap. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bring on day two. So it's day two. I'm feeling a lot less tired than what I did yesterday. Let's go do this. Hi guys, so it's lunchtime of day two. Had a fantastic morning. We started off with a little assignment where I got 39 out of 40, so absolutely smashing it, buzzing with that. And we went through how to search someone. You have to start off with asking them if it's okay to search them, get their permission, and then the actual technique use. You use the back of your hand to go up and down their legs, their torso, their back. And then we've also gone through different kind of drugs that might be smuggled in. I think this afternoon we're gonna go through some physical intervention techniques, so. I'll keep you updated with that. Hi guys, so I've just got back from day two. What a fun afternoon. We basically just did physical intervention all afternoon. Dave, our course leader, took us through how to get out of numerous different holds from people grabbing onto your collar to grabbing different parts of your arm. I think even if you don't want to go into security, the lessons of self-defense pretty much are incredible. You can see them actually working. My partner was absolutely fantastic. He was probably the biggest guy in the room. But yeah, we went through them together and even with the holds he was putting on me, the things Dave was teaching me just works with absolute treat. Probably gonna get an early nice, go through the revision notes from today, look at stuff at what we're gonna go over to tomorrow and start preparing for that exam on Thursday, which I'm sure I'll smash. I'm feeling confident, especially after get a 39 out of 40 on the assignment this morning. Come on, let's do this. As a reminder, please do ensure you're wearing a face covering that correctly covers your mouth and nose unless you are exempt. And please do observe social distancing when necessary. Hi everyone, it's day three, we're slowly getting there. This morning we're starting off with first day training. Two down, two to go, let's do this. Hi guys, so it's lunchtime now. The first day course was really, really interesting. We learned a lot, we did CPR, we went through the doctor's ABCs. Really, really recommend to everyone doing this course. It could potentially save a life, so it's well worth doing. We've also then gone through a bit more theory, preparing for the exams tomorrow, which I'm still feeling a little bit nervous about, but we'll see. I think this afternoon we're gonna do a bit more physical intervention. So guys, just finished day three. I can't believe how quick this week's going. It's absolutely flying back. Kind of don't want it to end. Really enjoying it. We went through some more of the theory for the exams tomorrow. And then we went through what we learned yesterday in terms of physical intervention, whether someone grabs your wrist or your collar or yeah, your arm. So that was really good to kind of refresh ourselves at that. And then we went through how to eject someone from your premises and making sure you're protecting other people around you, protecting obviously yourself and the person that you are ejecting. We also went through taking someone downstairs. The people on the course were all absolutely fantastic. I think everyone's in the same boat, so everyone wants to help each other and learn off each other. People are constantly bouncing back and forth with certain questions or how to help each other. So even if you don't want to get into security, the things you learn is it's amazing. So now it's just time for me to, to knuckle down, go through everything that we've learned over the course. I'm also gonna do some mock exams tonight that are all on the Get License website. So I do really wanna to pass tomorrow as well. I've just enjoyed this course so much. I wanna I want to actually get my license. I think it'd be a great thing to hold. I'll let you guys know how I'll get on. Speak tomorrow. 
Right guys, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. I've got all my ID documents ready. Now, the only thing left is to go and take the exam. I'm gonna smash it. I'm feeling confident. Let's do this. Guys, so just finished the first half of the assessment day. We went through the physical intervention stuff, but a, a little run through. Dave showed us exactly how to do everything again, refreshed our memories, and then we had to perform everything on each other in front of an invigilator, which was recorded. But feeling confident about it all. So this afternoon, it's just the it's just the, the exam questions, the multiple choice, but I'm sure I'll be fine. So guys, I'm back home and I finished the course. Woohoo! Come on! I'm feeling pretty confident. One or two questions through me, but I'm feeling like, I'm feeling pretty positive. So now it's just the eager wait to, to get my results. Should take about five to eight working days. Fingers crossed that I do pass, but I mean, if not, I do have the premium, so I can resit, but hopefully it doesn't come down to that. But overall, wow, I've really enjoyed this week. It's absolutely flown by. Everyone on the course was, was amazing. It was so nice to meet so many different people. Just. Just gotta wait for the results now, so fingers crossed. And once I do get those, I will be doing another video to show you guys how I got on. So, yeah. Okay, so it's exactly one week after my course and I've just received an email saying that my results are back. So I thought I'd run and get my camera. So if I pass, we pass together. If we fail, we fail together. Oh God, it's gonna be so awkward if I do fail. Gosh, my, my heart is beating. Here we go. So I just need to click on this email. I need to put in my email address and postcode. Okay, okay, loading. This feels like it's taking for ages. Okay, scroll down. Oh God, I've done it! I've passed! Get in! There actually was never a doubt. I, it didn't even, I didn't even think I'd fail, you know? I absolutely smashed it. Oh, I feel like I've just got the GCSE results and got all A stars or something. Wow, oh, and that means I don't have to resit. So everyone at Get a License is gonna be absolutely buzzing. I mean, that's the hardest thing out of the way, right? Okay, all I have to do now is apply for my SIA license. So if I follow this link on the page with my results, it takes me to a page on the Get License website, which tells you everything you need to do to apply for your license. And there's also a link on here, which takes you to basically the start of the application process on the official SIA website. Heads up, Get License do not have the authority to provide the license. You do need to go to the official SIA website to start that. It basically shows you exactly what you need to do and all of the steps involved. So without further ado, let's start applying. Okay, so firstly, I need to register for a personal online account, which I need to verify. Okay, now that's done, I need to log back in and start the application. There are nine different sections I need to complete, and I also need a record of my qualification, which is, it's on the results link, get license sent, which I passed, in case you forgot. Application fee is 190 pounds. No, 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 yeah, it should be all good, it should be all good, just select my application now. Yeah, basically now I need to wait for the SIA to confirm everything I've sent and I'll talk you through the next steps, whenever that may be. Okay, now that's all done, I need to take my ID to a post office, have a photo taken and then wait while the SIA do all of the relevant checks on me. Basically my right to work in the UK, my criminal record. I don't think I've got anything to hide, so that should all be good. So yeah, I'm just gonna basically do all that now and I'll let you know once I hear back from the SIA. And hopefully it's good news. Hi guys, so it's roughly, gosh, how long ago was it since I last did the course? Maybe about three, four weeks since I passed the course, but a week and a bit since I received my results and passed. But 
guess what just came through the door? This baby. Now, I'm hoping this is the SIA license. Because I've been approved, I've had the email saying I've been approved and everything. But I just thought I'd do the whole letter unveiling in front of the camera. So this is going to be really awkward if it's like a bank statement or something like that. Pretty sure it's the SIA. I can feel a card. I can feel a card in there. Alright, well it's got the SIA stamp. Here we go. Oh. And there it is. There's the bad boy. Who's that handsome devil on there? Wow. I can't believe it. it's actually real. It's actually came. <laughs> there it is. There's me. It expires on the 5th of December, 2023. So it's last for three years. And then after that, I'll have to renew it. It's been an absolutely amazing experience from start to finish. I want to say a big shout out to Get Licensed the whole way through. They've been absolutely incredible. Without them, I don't think I would have been able to pass because of all the materials they've got online. They've been super friendly, super helpful all the way through. And another big shout out to the trainer, Dave Ayton. Absolutely incredible, really enjoyed the week. So yeah, now I'm a qualified door supervisor. Let's go and hit the doors. As you can see, I am now fully prepared to start working as a door supervisor. Got the security hat. I've got my license on the shoulder. I'm ready to go. All right guys, that's all from me. I wanna say again, I've had such an incredible time and I hope for anyone watching who's had their concerns or just didn't know what to expect, this video has given them a good insight and now knows exactly what the course entails and all the steps they need to do to get their SIA license. I wish you the best of luck for the future. Take care all.